I, I kept noticing this critique of being a hater of knowledge. And I, I kept thinking, who do I know that is a hater of knowledge? And I just, I couldn't think of anyone. Like, that's such a strange thing to, to like, champion. And so then I started thinking of the opposite. Like, what does a lover of knowledge look like? And that's easy to think mm. of, right? It looks like being curious and asking questions and being willing to change your mind. And so a hater of knowledge, maybe in our day now, looks something like feeling very defensive of mm. your position immediately and before you hear the other side, or being unwilling right. to have a change of heart. I think it looks like shutting down when you recognize that dissonance feeling, when, you, when someone disagrees with you. Okay. You feel like you want to run instead of learn. Um, and so that, that feeling I recognize, and it felt really good to kind of try that on and ask myself, even you know, as a Latter-day Saint, are there ways where my path might look a little bit less like a lover of knowledge because I'm so rigid in some ways? And, and I think that that kind of rigidity is, is only ever limiting. And so I love the second chapter in Proverbs. This felt like a list of ways to find wisdom. It talks about accepting my words, storing up commandments, turning your wisdom, applying your heart to understanding, calling out for insight, crying aloud for understanding, looking as it were for silver or for hidden treasure. And what stood out to me is that all of those things were about the seeking. It wasn't a list of answers.